Piñones. Piñones is a small beachside town located in Loiza, literally minutes from Luis Munoz Marin Airport. The town itself is not visually appealing, but the variety of food is unmatched. Join us as we do a walkthrough through Piñones. Piñones is very close to Luis Muñoz Marin Airport. Once you leave the airport, you head towards Isla Verde and you take Route 187 East. As you leave the area of the hotels, you will come across a small bridge. Once you cross that small bridge, you will see this green sign. Just before the green sign, make a left turn and you will see that you are in for a real culinary treat. There are a bunch of restaurants back here, including La Puerta del Mar. Uh, that's where we ate uh, once we arrived uh, earlier this year. I'll put a link uh, to that video. And as you can see, it's near the beach. There's so many different restaurants. There's a lot of choices. And uh, it's a whole circle. So once you leave that area, again, go towards 187 East. And you will be surrounded by chinchorreos after chinchorreos of fried delicacy. But not only that, there are some seafood restaurants which are gems, which we're going to uh, look at one uh, a little bit later. It was called The Waterfront. My wife and I ate there and we had some incredible um, paella. The videos and pictures you're about to see are just uh, chinchorreos and kioscos of a lot of great frituras. Oh, look at this place. They were having mofongos rellenos for just $8.50. You could fill it up with uh, chicken. Those are really, really good. Ostras y almejas. These are oysters. That little white house with the blue trimming, that's actually where we stayed. Check out that video as well. La Reina de la Piña Colada. They have some great uh, piña coladas there. Unfortunately, uh, they will open a little bit later today at 3 p.m. Now, a lot of these places, they're basically selling the same thing. Alcapurrias, bacalaitos, piononos, pastelillos, pinchos, cold coconuts, and much more. Uh, but you will also see some souvenir shops. So those are fried, look at those fried yummies there. Look at that. Look at that. Here's one of the souvenir shops. They had little grocery stores. And again, just showing you the different uh, types of uh, restaurants and chinchorros that were around. Now what we did, we walked up and down the street. It's, uh, it's a little tricky because the cars, as you can see, they pass by quickly, uh, very fast, and uh, so you have to be careful. Mi Casita Seafood. Our neighbors at the Airbnb we were staying at ate here. They said it was delicious and the prices were really good. So check it out if you want some seafood. Today's Thursday and most places open at 11. But for example, the um, Piña Colada Queen, she opens at 3 for some reason. So if you see something closed, check it out. It might be open. So we got some uh, souvenirs. We had to eat somewhere, so we chose Playa Azul. Again, they had all the frituras you could think of. Uh, their alcapurrias were really, really good. And they also had cold coconuts, which you will see the gentleman uh, chopping up for one for my wife in a few uh, seconds. Navidad llegó, la fiesta y parrandas, Navidad. 
Cuellas, a seafood or crab. A little bit of everything. And they do have a place to sit. Some places are requiring that you show a COVID test or vaccine proof. Mile marker 4.9. See that here. And this is 187. Now back there is another road and a boardwalk. Um, it's hard to find, but there's some restaurants coming back there. We're gonna go to the waterfront in a minute, so you can check that out. So we're gonna be checking out waterfront. We saw them online, and um, these are one of the few places that offers um, paella. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the entrance to Waterfront. We walked on the boardwalk and we saw it. So when we saw it online, we said, let's try it out. There it is again, the Waterfront. Uh, that's not the actual restaurant. The actual restaurant is Waterfront. Okay, estacionamiento means parking. It's parking for the waterfront. Notice there's the ocean back there. And there is the restaurant. All right. It's about 1 p.m. Not about. It is 1 p.m. on a Thursday. And we're going to check them out. This is the view, folks. This is it. Well, that thing down the road there. This is literally waterfront. Uh, here are the menus. <laughs> the menus are very old and worn. So I would recommend if you want to check out the menu and the prices, uh, you may want to pause in these next four slides uh, if you want to check them out. But the prices were pretty, pretty decent. This was the paella. Oh my, it was delicious. I'm sorry I didn't do a food review, but uh, I just started eating and forgot to uh, do the food review. So enjoy the, the footage. We just ate at the waterfront. Again, it was hidden from the main road. On the back road now, there it is behind us. And we had the paella. How was it, baby? It was delicious. It was delicious. And we have so much left over to take back to our hotel room or Airbnb. It was so good. Uh, you'll see the footage, or you should have seen the footage by now. And uh, we highly recommend it. Um, so we had a paella. About four people or five people could eat from that. Yeah. Two waters and a piña colada came out to $40. And, and then we have dinner for later. Can't beat that. Pretty good deal. Piñones, a visually deceiving beachfront town filled with culinary options that will delight any palate. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up and share. Thank you and God bless.